Hello guys, I am back again, still updating you with the breaking trending news, what is going on in Nigeria. So good morning, good afternoon and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. Okay guys, I have this quick update to share with you. Uh, we already know the battle going on on who will replace Buari come next year 2023. Okay, you have seen it already on your screen. Tinibu has agreed to pick a Muslim as his running mate. Okay, so that is coming from Ganduje. You know, Ganduje is um, uh, one of the person, or should, he, should I say Tinibu's ally during the primaries, during the consultation and so on. So according to um, Governor uh, Ganduje, he's the governor of Kano State. Uh, he has confirmed that Tinibu has agreed to pick a Muslim as his running mate. Well, I really don't know what to say. Let me quickly give you the full details. Then I will give you my own personal opinion, all right? So, Ganduje disclosed this yesterday, Friday, during a gathering of about 100 clerics at the Kano State Government House as um, part of activities to mark the celebration. That is the Muslim uh, celebration, Idel Kabai. So, according to him, he said, um, we have advised him that he's able to pick a Muslim deputy, and he has agreed. A Muslim Muslim ticket is a reality. It is not something new in Nigeria. Okay, so, that is according to um, Ganduje, that a Muslim Muslim ticket is not something new in Nigeria. He also asked the clerics to pray for Tinibu to emerge as Nigeria's next president. Okay, um, I don't have a problem who, you know, decide his running mate. As we already know that it is the flag bearer, the aspirant, uh, that decide who will be his running mate. All right? I don't have a problem with that. But Muslim, Muslim ticket in a multi-ethnic country, in a multi-religious country, I mean... When we are talking about equity, what do we understand by equity? When we are talking about fairness, because according to them, they said, okay, power should uh, go to the south because of equity, fairness, and so on. But when it comes to this, where is the equity and fairness between the Muslim and the Christian? When it comes to equity, as in, where is the equity here? Because this is the same thing. There was a protest, I think, from some APC group, even APC group, that it is. it wouldn't be nice. That it wouldn't be nice as a Muslim. Tinibu is a Muslim. It wouldn't be nice for a Muslim to pick another Muslim as a running mate. Is it that uh, they don't have a Christian in the north, a northern Christian, or is it that they just don't value that Christianity religion? I really don't understand. Yes, that is what it means. Because for the equity and fairness, for you to show the equity and fairness, nobody stops anybody from uh, you know religious activity and so on. According to what? What what pains me the most, to be frank, what pains me the most, I remember when the Abbey, former Abia state governor, uh, Senator Juzo Kalu, made a statement that uh, it doesn't matter even if uh, Tinibu takes a Muslim as his running mate, that there is nothing wrong, all right? That the, his wife is a Christian, they can substitute the Christianity. They, I mean, I really don't understand when... People we are looking up to when people Nigerians are looking up to when Nigerians are looking up to a particular leader and then realize that there are some people, all right, there are some people that need a psychiatric test. Like, seriously, I also remember the statement, um, credited to um, Joey Bokwe as well. Okay, we already know Joey Bokwe personally for me. I, I I told you guys that if not for the name, I wouldn't believe that Joe Iboko is an Igbo man. Yes. Okay, so I am not talking about that. Statement also credited to him that there is nothing wrong for Tinibu to take a Muslim or a Muslim Muslim ticket 
uh, is not something new in Nigeria. Yes, he's also talked about Tinibu's wife being a Christian. And Tinibu himself said, yes, if you come to uh, his home, uh, his Bible, no, his Quran and uh, the wife Bible, you know, stays side by side. Of course, we know. But what about the equity and the fairness? That is what we should be asking. I am not against anybody choosing his running mate, whether Muslim. That is not my problem because I have seen that politics in Nigeria is not what Nigeria is, uh, you know, practicing when it comes to democracy, like seriously. I mean, what is the fear? Because I believe that it will be due to amount of pressure. Maybe, you know, threatening Tinibu that if he doesn't pick a Muslim man, uh, a Muslim Muslim ticket, that they wouldn't vote for him, of course. And these are people that wants to uh, be in Asurok by all means. Remember, Tinibu already said that it is my turn. So for somebody to say it is his turn, he's determined to do whatsoever just to get to us or rock but however let me know what you guys think i quickly wanted to update you on that see you guys in another update